Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about how to send Character Creator 4 models from Character Creator 4 to Wanda Studio, right? So I will show you an example of what I was able to do. So here's uh, the character and let me turn on the volume. There's a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, their voyage is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat, and we must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. So, guys, that's the result of what I was able to transfer from Character Creator 4, this model right here, who's called Camilla. And this uh, religion has been working on this plugin. And we are, I'll share this link in the description of this video. And the way you create uh, use this is simply go to this link, go to code over here, download the zip file. And once you download that zip file, it will go into your, let me first copy this link right here. You'll go into your download folder. So it will be this zip file right here. Go ahead and bring up Blender. I'm using Blender 3.4, but it also works with Blender 3.5. Go to Edit, go to Preferences over here. Go to Add-ons, click on Install, and then you go to your Downloads, find that zip file, Install Add-on. Uh, give it a couple of, like seconds, depending on the speed of your computer, and it will show up here, and then enable it. And when you enable it, it's going to show up in this shelf right here. So there it is, okay? Now, if you have the auto setup for Character Creator 4 and Blender, don't use that to import your character into Blender. Make sure you import an FBX. And let's uh, make sure walk you through how to do this. So here's the character. I'm gonna stop the playback. And I'm, I mean, you can add details like for example what i was able to do is add makeup to this character give her a different hairstyle right the models look really good but ultimately i think what we've be all been wanting to do is send char custom characters other than the ones that come with uh, wonder studio that are that are part of the system already right so instead of using these we now have the ability to send Character Creator 4 models into uh, Wanda Studio, which is awesome. So I'll show you some of the ones that I've been able to import. So that's Camilla, Astronaut, and then this is uh, <laughs> Darth Maul, and that's Alika. So here, what you do is you go to File, Export. Before you do actually do File Export, you select the character and make sure you go into Pause, T-Pause, right? Make sure the character is in T pose because when you switch to T pose, it removes the animation, and that's what you the stance that you want to use. Go to File, Export, uh, go to FBX Closed uh, Character. You can also use this shortcut over here, FBX Closed Character, and we're gonna be using the Blender preset. Okay, make sure this is unchecked. Don't you don't want to embed textures. Make sure you're using the current pause because we want that T-pause to come through, right? Scroll all the way down, enable, make sure enable delete hidden faces is ch checked. The, the rest can stay the same here. And then go to the gear icon over here and make sure when you're exporting, like in uh, this uh, the settings over here, that you scroll up. There are two scroll bars, <laughs> this one, and then there's one that's inside. So try to follow the same setup over here. And you want to export mouth open as a morph. Uh, make sure you merge opacity to diffuse texture, right? And then everything else is the same. So try to follow that, those settings, right? And when you're ready, click on export. We're gonna put it in this folder over here that I've created. This is for CC4 characters. And we're just gonna call this Camilla. Camilla one. And then uh, put a name in here. 
Camilla underscore 01. And then save. Okay. So it doesn't take very long. Again, again, I suppose depending on the speed of your computer. But uh, the process doesn't take very long. So you, you're done with that part. All right, so after you're done exporting the character as an FBX file, go to Blender over here and uh, import, go to File, Import, FBX, and then browse to that folder where you save the character. You pick up Camilla, click Import, and wait for the textures, uh, the shaders to compile. You can also toggle viewport shading so we can see what they look like. And this is really exciting, guys, because <laughs> we've been wanting to send Character Creator for models to uh, uh, to the Wonder Studio platform. So this is really, really exciting. So, all right. So once this is ready, go ahead and again, make sure that you verify that this the export is here. So export to Wonder. And let's find that folder where our project is, Camilla. We're just gonna create a subfolder and just call it uh, WS for Wonder Studio. It could be any uh, name, doesn't have to be that. And we just call Camilla. Maybe underscore Wonder Studio one. And then save and give it a moment to collect uh, rather to process the shaders and when it's done you're gonna see it changing color from the textures to display the ones that uh, have been okay so it's successful and you can see what the character looks like now so this character is exported and as you can see the clothing are all set up properly in the face so now it's actually ready to import into Wonder Dynamics uh, on the Wonder Dynamics website. So let's go up here and go to My Assets over here. Click on My Assets and click on Upload Character and just give it a name. We just say Camilla. The Studio Two because I already have a Camilla in there. And let's go ahead and create Camilla. And then click on this uh, plus icon right here. Browse to the folder where your file was exported. And uh, not this one, but the one that uh, has Wonder Studio. So here are all the textures. And you can see how it has automatically named them. This is the naming convention that uh, Wonder Studio understands like the different diffuse, diffused <laughs> texture, the normal map, and then there's the Blender file. So we're gonna select that and press the Shift key and select everything or Control A and then open. And you can see them all over here, uploaded. And this is where I think when, when I first did it, I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna work, <laughs> right? And so when you click upload, it goes through and finish uh, uploads all the models. But previously when I did the test, it, it would always get errors because these names are not, the characters that I was testing with didn't have the naming convention as that. Like it has to be specific to that. And then the next stage is to see, to validate because then that's when you know our character is ready to be used in Wonder Studio. So this is about 76%, 87%, 90%. 92, almost there, 97, 100%, right? Again, depending on how many textures your character has, uh, this process might go real quick or <laughs> like take a while. So this is done and no error so far, which is awesome. Click validate. Validation process is about to start. So it says about six minutes and you can actually close this and come back later. But as you can see, this is uh, was I was already successful in doing that, and you can even uh, let me go to my projects, and let's pick up this one. This is the one that we tested with initially, and this one has the facial animation, the blinking, the lips moving. 
so cool. And then I also have this one that I tested with. Uh, this is the dancing one with a weatherman. So there's uh, Camilla dancing away. <laughs> Uh, so cool so this is one way to get your cc for characters in your projects maybe create uh, youtube shorts and facebook shorts and it's rigged properly the textures are applied nicely and uh this is the magic right here this plugin uh, on github again i'm gonna put the description the link in the description of this video so you can download it and every now and then make sure you come in and refresh just do a refresh because they're going to continue working on this and improve it. Uh, right now it's still in a beta testing and you can also see there's a video here to walk you through uh, real quick but doesn't have audio so that's why I'm doing the audio so you could actually ask <laughs> here <laughs> uh, what it's saying. So right now it's uh, they're saying it's uh, for Blender 3.4 but I'm, uh, I've tested with 3.5 and kind of works but I wouldn't want to use 3.5 until they recommend it here. So you have to use character creator 4.22, 4 and uh, supported assets, FPL file, FBX files, exposed from CC4, the character with the single mesh and material, facial profile data is CC4 extend, and then how to install all those. So I've just walked you through all of that. So, but every now and then come refresh this because then you'll see when the last time it was updated. So as they continue to update it, make sure you come and visit this link again and again until they release it officially. But uh, yeah, that was the, the walkthrough on what <laughs> Wonder Studio you're able to do with CC4 characters and uh, it works great. I can't wait to continue creating new characters. And my next test is gonna be with uh, you know, Daz characters. We'll see how well it works with that. But this is cool. <laughs> I'm very happy with the result and uh, man, it's exciting with Wanda Studio and especially with the uh, facial animation because this means you don't have to do the blend shapes yourself. This uh, converter automatically converts the blend shapes for character creator 4 files and you're able to do facial animation with it, which it looks really cool. So, and th what I did was I made sure that to include the AI mockup, the clean plate, and the alpha masks. So, the Blender scene, let me see if I can actually download that and let's open it. Because I want to see what it looks like. So let me go to our project here. I'm going to go to Camilla and let's just uh, drag and drop this over here and zip it. All right. And let's open it and see what it looks like in Blender. So this is going to open in Blender 3.5, I believe. So there's the mockup data on the CC4 character and it applied to the top part because this part is stationary over here. This is all it could see in the camera. Let's go ahead and play back. There's the character animated with facial. So this is amazing. Think about it. This was all from a video that was processed using Wanda Studio and was applied to a CC4 character. So if you want to render this inside of a Blender and you're not happy with the, the Blender render, rather the, the, the render from Wanda Studio, you can come back. Let me first stop this. Yeah, so right now it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have the textures right here. <laughs> but once they are in there, you'll be able to see the full character. But as you can see, the mockup is there and it's animated very well. The mouth is moving. This will, from a video, This there was no hardware involved in terms of a mock-up suit or a face rig or anything like that. This was all straight from a video from Wanda Studio over here. So thank you so much guys for joining me today again. Uh, man, what an amazing time to be alive. It's so cool that we can now send our character creator four models into Blender, rather, yeah, into Blender and then send to Wanda Studio, sim like effortlessly. You don't have to worry about all the blend shapes. And now, like I said, they're gonna continue improving this because you need uh, those 90 blend shapes make a big difference. And at this stage, not all the 90 are implemented just yet. So we'll continue to see how it improves and I'll continue sharing my test to see how well you know, these characters are able to be translated from Character Creator 4 into 
Wanda Studio. So, so cool. <laughs> Thank you again. If you're new to my channel, guys, I ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to all my patrons. Please consider becoming a patron to support me on this journey. Uh, much love to each and every one of you. Dare to dream big. Never ever give up on your dream, guys. Bye for now.